guys it's Jess and welcome back to my channel I'm here with my um, Hobby Lobby shop with me and haul for Christmas um, it was very busy in store so I do apologize a lot of it is a bit rushed and I have to apologize in advance yes it is filmed vertically but it is really hard to be discreet when you're holding a camera um, or phone horizontally in store even holding it vertically you do look a bit suspicious but it looks less suspicious than trying to film sideways because it's always sort of a risk filming in store because it's not necessarily allowed um, it was also very busy as I said lots of people in every aisle so I was just trying to take pictures as I could so we're gonna go through the store in a minute I'm gonna walk you through the store um, for Christmas Christmas has been out in Hobby Lobby for about two months now it was out probably at the beginning end of August beginning of September they started putting Christmas out so not everything I've going to show you my whole end was actually bought in one trip it's been bought over the last few months I think I may have shown you one or two pieces in another um, day core haul before but I wanted to show you what I got similar to Walmart I didn't have an actual budget I try and keep it as low as possible um, I had $50 to spend in my Walmart haul I ended up spending I think when I worked it out here $51.41 for everything I got at Hobby Lobby so it worked out about the same anyway which is very lucky but um, noting that let's get into it and let me show you what's in store and we'll come back and we'll do our haul so we're starting off with just the display at the front of the store, which has some snowmen, um, snowmen, nutcrackers. Then we had a little craft section up near the registers with pipe cleaners and pom-poms, uh, sprinkles, um, uh, glitter, little do-it-yourself do ornaments, and then some Christmas card packs. Then we moved on to the wall behind the registers where there's some of the Christmas art starting to appear, as well as a hold, uh, fall down the bottom. Then these are all um, Christmas boxes all different varieties as you can see they were just putting them out then there was all other different containers I loved this uh, Santa baskets up the top I thought they were very cute then we moved into the cookie tin aisle a um, whole bunch of tins there and boxes of all different varieties everything is 40% off for Christmas at the moment and it will stay that way basically up until Christmas unless we get a bit more and then more Christmas cards as we go along and then we had all the little notes to Santa and those little kits here we had a whole bunch of uh, stuffed animals and then we moved into the Christmas decorations. There were lots of these obviously, we had some rustic ones, some farmhouse thrown in as well, uh, some whites and silvers again still along that farm farmhouse woodland theme. We had some uh, obviously some religious ornaments there. And then we moved on to some more of the bright colourful ornaments, the different sports, uh, toys and those sort of things. And then there were some licensed ornaments. Uh, here, as you can see, there's minions, I think, and a few other ones. Baby's first Christmas, uh, both boys and girls. And um, then we had uh, all these sweet range here, the gingerbread, cupcakes, candy canes. And then it moved on to Santa and elves down this aisle. Um, these start at $2.99 and go up from there. That's basically what I've found in terms of pricing. That's before the 40% off, of course. Then we had the mini trees. And as we walk back down the aisle, these are the full-size Christmas trees. All different varieties, lit and unlit, flocked and unflocked, um, for a variety of prices. I think starting at around $80 and up from there, but then you get the 40% off as well. And my favourite one was this one on the end here, where they had a rotating base for sale as well. They had a white and silver display before we moved on to the next range of decorations. These were more the um, tin ornaments in different ranges, um, sea-themed food, uh, travel, animals, sports and other games and those sort of things and then vehicles and then we moved on to the um, glass ornaments, the sets here and all the varieties of colours. So the traditional red, gold and green, the brights and then the pastels and then we had the gold metallics and then we had more individual trees up the back. And then as we go back down the aisle again, these are the rest of the full-size Christmas trees. And again, apologies for the filming order, guys. It was just really busy and I had to film how I could when I was in there. Um, we have more ornament sets and a whole variety of colours all the way up to the ceilings. I don't know how you meant to get the ones up the top, but, you know, ask for someone with a ladder. Um, candy canes and sugar plums and those things are one of the big themes this year. These were all the garlands in that range. And then there were stakes and picks and more um, little four packs of ornaments. The four packs of ornaments start at $7.99, most are $11.99. Then we had some glass ornaments as well in this range. And then we move into the bright greens and reds. That's one of the themes for this year that they're going with. And then we added a bit of gold in, 
whole variety of items here and then the next range is the bright so that's the aqua the purple the lime and the hot pink so all the different types of items you can want in these colors if you're going for a bright modern christmas and they even have garlands in these as well in the elves and the pom-poms i thought they were quite cute and we turn around we go down the other side of the aisle we had the silver ornaments um, all different ornaments as you can see different shapes and sizes and bows and tinsels then we have the traditional red this was the very bright red so not sort of that dark darker red but a very very bright red um, all different things here and then we added in some gold so there's red and gold together so if you're going for a traditional christmas that could be good for you and then the just plain gold range in a whole variety of things as well so we move back to the wall we had the large canisters i think those were 29.99 i believe before the discount or maybe they were 29.95 after the discount i'd have to go back and try and look at one of the price tags then we move into the farmhouse section as you can see here lots of galvanized uh, products and burlap and then on into the rustic wooden sort of cabin theme which is what I'm personally going for so I spend a lot of time in this section looking through these as you can see there's a lot of wood buffalo plaid and burlap in this section and a ladder because they were still putting stuff out and then more rustic with lots of pine cones and then we moved on to sort of the darker golds and this was the very sort of deluxe looking um, sort of gold and burgundy together on this side of the aisle and then we had the pastel pinks and rose gold together in this end sorry for rushing through here this aisle was very very crowded and then we have all these sort of white ornaments i was trying to pass a person at that point that's why we got very close up we have more of the sugar lollipop themes this is the stocking and tree skirt aisle the tree skirts start at 39.95 and go up from there these stockings, I think, start at $19.95 and go up from there. That is all before the 40% discount. Um, and these are a much better quality than the ones you're finding at places like Walmart, if you see my Walmart haul, and for the same sort of price after the 40% discount. So I'm definitely heading to Hobby Lobby um, if you're in need of a new item. I'm holding out for a Christmas uh, tree skirt from here, waiting to see if it goes a little bit cheaper beyond the 40%, maybe 50%, and then I'll get it. Um, on this side, we had more of them, and we had all the stocking holders down the bottom the metal stocking holders in a variety of shapes um, they started at 14.95 i believe and went up from there for each individual one as you can see there were cute whimsical ones farmhouse ones galvanized ones uh, brushed metal ones all different varieties more stockings and tree skirts in every shape and color imaginable and then we had the multi-packs of the tree skirts uh, sorry of the stocking holders at the back wall we had our angels and santa tree toppers and then our regular tree toppers and the stars individual little stockings and sort of stocking bunting there and this was decorative tinsel threads threads and then we had the wall of tinsel and uh, i think that was fake snow next to it then we moved into this aisle we had pine cones and wooden sticks and cinnamon sticks those cinnamon sticks were 5.99 before the discount they sell them for a dollar at the dollar tree so i definitely go to the dollar tree there and then we have all the christmas floral these um start at 99 cents before the discount like this one here is only 99 cents so um 60 cents after the discount much better value than dollar tree and their greenery is a lot nicer so definitely don't rule out places like hobby lobby and joanne when you're looking for floral just showing you some of the displays in the middle of the store then we move into the other side of the floral where we had whites and silvers more of the berries um, a lot of gold this aisle was very crowded as well guys so i'm sorry about this it's very hard to be sneaky when you're filming but those berries are also 99 cents as well down the bottom and i'll show you at the end of my haul i did pick up some of those then we had the full size wreaths in all different varieties, the undecorated, undecorated ones so you could do your decorating yourself. Then we had candles and potpourri in a variety of scents and styles for all decors. These were sort of the candle holders. I think they started at $7.99 and went up from there, or $9.99 and went up from there, I should say. But a variety of styles there. 
and then we had the uh, De deco mesh these were much more expensive than the Dollar Tree but you are getting a lot more um, yardage as well so make sure you're comparing those these bows were extremely expensive when you compare them to art places like the Dollar Tree they started at $9.99 and went up so um, just keep that in mind when you're looking then we have ribbons of all different varieties um, the, as you can see there are letters on each one the letters are based on the pricing for each ribbon and you can see there's every shade of the rainbow there's patterns there's all different sizes and widths so if you're in need of ribbon you should definitely find what you are looking for at Hobby Lobby and we move into the signage and decor items the glitter pillows were everywhere more candles and then a whole display of uh, nutcrackers of every shape and variety I'm going to start down the next aisle this is the dinnerware aisle there was um, animal themed up this end then sort of farmhouse then we have the red truck range there were glasses and mugs then we have the normal plaid or gingham the buffalo plaid range which is where I've been getting some of my things from and I'll show you in the haul then we have the black and white buffalo plaid poinsettia range and then we moved into the plain colors so the reds as we're going through I think the next color is gold and then it moves down into the silver and I also picked up some dinnerware from here earlier in the season for thanks for Thanksgiving but went through the Christmas section I'll show you that as well in the haul we have our nativity scenes um, individual pieces you could buy the nativity scenes down the bottom to fill with yourself we have our religious um, decor items as well then we had aprons and more cooking items there was a whole bunch of cookie and gingerbread um, themed things here um, plates for Santa for cookies even just um, what were they called uh, milk jugs for Santa tea towels a whole range of things here as well And these were reasonably priced. I did pick up one plate, um, which because it looked identical to the dog we have at home, and I'll show you that in the haul as well. And then sort of the burlap rustic Christmas at the end. These are all magnets on the end that were $3. Just another one of the displays. And then we move into more of the decor items. We started with the red and white decor. Whole bunch of wooden signs, Christmas trees, nutcrackers. Then we have a whole um, hot chocolate and cocoa station section coming up. I did pick up a lovely sign from here and I'll show you that in the haul as well. So as you can see there's all the hot cocoa and paraphernalia and bar signs and then all the baking ones as well. So there's gingerbread men, uh, lots of baking with grandma signs and Christmas treats and other things. All the gingerbread house and cupcake sort of decorations and then there was the rest of the brights decor and then we move on to the next side of the aisle where there was uh, the Grinch range and then we moved on to the more young kids style like the snowmen and the Santas the more youthful looking things uh, plain red green and white signs and a whole different variety uh, light up letters whole bunch of stuff here and we had a bunch of little advent calendars there or counting down the days blocks I love the advent snowman up the top here whose nose was the counter and then more pillows then we moved on to the rustic side this was sort of a combination of rustic cabin farmhouse um, decor red truck pillow down the bottom for you red truck fans metal signage these were sort of the rustic ones here as we move forward as you can see there's farmhouse there's cows and pigs in christmas decor and then uh, more red trucks lots of wooden planks and those sort of things um, galvanized and rusted metal uh, there was a worker in this aisle which is why it's not the best filming because um, i was trying to be super discreet while she was putting away items as you can see more farmhouse little sheep and pigs there uh, little individual trees wooden more wooden decor very um, very rustic down this aisle and then some more pillows a 
this is just the light uh, the aisle with all the lighting and electronics um, I think these are probably slightly overpriced compared to other stores and you don't get 40% off you only get 25% so unless there's something you desperately need I would probably be looking um, at Walmart or even Target for Christmas lighting or even for the basic um, string lights at the Dollar Tree Uh, there's more of the wreaths on the back wall and the wreath hangers and then these are all the de pre-decorated wreaths um, and a variety of designs and prices um, obviously they're very expensive without the 40% off but you should always be getting at least 40% off at Hobby Lobby if they're not on sale you can always get a coupon in the app for 40% off any full priced item so there's no need to be paying full price for anything while you're shopping there I do love the garlands but of course the one I picked up that I really liked was $139 to begin with. Um, they started at around $39 before the 40% off, but they did escalate quite quickly in price. Um, so just keep that in mind. That one there with the um, pine cones was the one that was $139. And this was just more um, floral pieces, uh, not quite wreaths, but um, door hangings and mantle pieces in all the designs. And then some of the larger outdoor signs. Then we had the mini Christmas trees and all the ornaments for those, including tree skirts, toppers, uh, tinsel, anything you'd want to decorate a smaller tabletop size tree. So if you don't have a lot of space, it's definitely worth checking Hobby Lobby out for those items. And then we moved into the baking section. Uh, lots of little gift bags and cellophane paper, cookie bags, boxes and cookie cutters there and some other cute sort of plastic tableware items as well. Um, more cookie jars in a variety of shapes. And then we had all the Christmas mugs, which were very cute as well. I did pick up a Christmas mug and I'll show you that in the haul. And then we had a weird aisle that had dog toys up this end. Then it moved into ugly sweater and costume accessories, including that sort of cute photo frame for a photo booth, um, crazy hats. And then just actual winter items like scarves and then we had more headwear pieces and socks and baby items and sort of stocking stuffer sort of items as well it was a very random selection of items there then we moved into the craft section and i apologize we are going to rush through this because this area was very crowded with people shopping and i just did not want to get in the way there's all the stickers um beads items like washi tape i think it's coming up around the corner and um, cardstock all those are included at 40% off at the moment and um, we have more ribbons and then individual craft projects for um, craft kits for kids so there were some stencils um, these were all foam work kits pipe cleaners anything you need for craft cutouts paper cutouts beads um, bells paint kits wooden um, items now these were much more expensive than buying them at the Dollar Tree particularly for those sort of snowflake items that snowflake I think was $7.99 and they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree yes it's a bit smaller at the Dollar Tree but I'd rather save the money and then more paints and then the glass ornaments and I think that was pretty much it guys I think we're just going to do a loop of this section so I can show you the other side but then that will be everything that's at um, Hobby Lobby for Christmas as you can see more little paper cutouts and craft kits more foam and then finally this was the fall uh, Christmas floral section up near the florals at the front front and these are the pre-made pieces so that was everything in store guys again I apologize for the vertical filming it's just really hard to do an in-store shop with me not doing it that way and you, when you're trying to be discreet and not trying to get kicked out of a Hobby Lobby um, saying that let me show you what I got for my $51.41 before tax so I think I may have shown you these before but I did pick up four of these um, place name sort of name placeholders placeholders uh, for our Christmas table they're on a little wooden block and that's as you can see it's quite sparkly um, a snowflake and it's just got the little clip on the back these ones were $2.99 everything on Christmas is 40% off so these ones came down to $1.79 each so for four of them it was $7.16 I picked up four plates for our Christmas table they are a plain white plate with a small gold rim from the brand Robert Stanley and these ones were $3.99 full price but again with the 40% off they come down to $2.39 each so four of them was $9.56 so they're just a very basic plate they'll go with any decor 
Um, they have a silver one as well if you prefer a more wintry wonderland sort of Christmas theme or if those are your colours. But they had gold um, or silver. I picked up the gold for my one. So I have four of those. I picked up four placemats for our table. As you've seen in some of my Christmas videos, um, my hauls and other items, we're going for a cabin woodland rustic theme we're here in colorado we have the snow we have cabins and those sort of things so that's what we're trying to go for so lots of buffalo plaid um, lots of timber a little bit of sort of burnished and rusted metal um, and lots of natural elements as well so i picked up four of these placemats i'm sorry for the light guys it's sort of really early in the morning the sun's just coming up uh, so i picked up four of these buffalo plaid ones um, these were 3.99 each they're also from robert stanley as you can see there so with the 40 percent off they come down to 232 uh, 239 each so 956 for all four i picked up let's see what else is from the homeware section this little plate and i picked it up because it looks exactly like our dog it's almost identical it's hilarious how similar it looks like him and he's in a little bow tie so i could not pass that one up that one was 799 and there is a whole range of other cats and dogs as well in this series um, so it came down to 479 with the 40 percent off I picked up this mug for myself and I think I've shown you this one before it just says have yourself a merry little Christmas it's rustic it's um, sort of aluminum it's uh, not microwave safe and it's hand wash only if that's an issue for you so um, aluminum it's tin I should say um, enamel tin and I really really did love that one that one was $7.99 as well and with the 40% off it came down to $4.79 I picked up a tree topper for our tree let me see if I can get the light a little bit less. Probably not. So this is the tree topper I got. Um, as you can see, it has the buffalo plaid. It's got some twine. It's got little pine cones on each end. And then it has some greenery, berries, and a bell in the middle. And it's just on a little black wire cone. This one was, if I can find the price, $14.99. So with the 40% off, this one came down to just $8.99. And then I just picked up three individual ornaments. I picked up two of these sort of these sort of half rustic half farmhouse because they are the galvanized metal but this one did have the buffalo plaid so I did pick up this one with the, just a little bear on it he was $2.99 and then with the discount of 40% it came down to $1.79 I just love the little message on this one it says this family believes this one was $3.99 so it came down to $2.39 with the discount and the other item I picked up was this little uh, raccoon here my husband is obsessed with raccoons and squirrels for some unknown reason he's on a little log he's smiling he's looking at you and he's holding a pine cone he was $3.99 as well and um, he obviously came down to $2.39 um, so that was everything I picked up at Hobby Lobby for my $51 and 50 41 cents for everything so basically I got my dinner table covered I've got my plates my placemats and my napkin holders I have my tree topper and a few ornaments plus my fun mug which I'm really looking forward to using with hot cocoa coming into this season so I hope you enjoyed this um, shop with me and Hobby Lobby Christmas haul if you did please give this video a thumbs up share or comment below if you've not yet done so I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and if you are a subscriber make sure you got that bell icon clicked so you're notified every time I post a new video thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time Bye. Oh, 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 oh,